Hi there. Welcome to AI Python. Hope you are doing great and enjoying this video series to build a desktop app called Vaccine Availability Checker from scratch in Python using tkinter library. This is the seventh video of this series and from this video, we are embarking the backend coding journey to build the logic. Yes, in the last five videos, that is from video number two to video number six of this playlist, you have learned to develop the GUI for the desktop app. Particularly in this video, you will learn to build a real-time digital clock that will display the date and time. And the time is being updated every second, thus making it a real-time clock. The best part is, this code is reusable, meaning you can use the same code across multiple projects wherever you need similar clock. If you are learning something new from these videos, or if it is helping you to acquire a new skill, then I would urge you to please hit the like button, which will indicate that you are enjoying the content and it gives us the signal to produce such content more often. Pause for a moment and like this video. You can also browse all the previous video of this playlist from the link available in the i button displayed at the top right corner of this video right now, as well as I have also provided the link in the description. A fully functional and 100% working version of this software for Windows is also available for absolutely free at our website AIPython.in. Download the software from the link available in the description. So let's get started and build a real-time digital clock. Let me run this code and demonstrate you the application of real-time clock. So when you execute this code, you will see a clock which is there on the app and it is being updated every second. As you can see here, the date is 9th July 2021 and the time is 23, 30, 23 hours, 39 minutes and, and 37, 38, 39 counting, right? These are the seconds. This will be the result when you execute this code. Okay. In order to create clock in Python, basically using tkinter module or any module in general will be using some kind of library which is built in and that will give us a time and date right so in python there's a module called date and time so we'll be importing date and time which is called date time and inside date time there is a specific module which is called date time right so we'll be importing from date time import date time right it somehow looks similar but don't confuse. So this will give us all the functionality related to the current date and current time. The second one is PyTZ. Uh, you can say it time zone for Python in a simple rememberable way, right? So PyTZ module basically gives you a time in that particular uh, time zone which you request for, right? As you can see here, I have created one variable called ISTs which stands for Indian Standard Time. So I'm holding, I'm creating a variable called Indian Standard Time. And here I'll be holding the time zone for that particular location. So I'm in India right now. So I'll be using this time zone of Asia slash Kolkata, right? Pi tz dot time zone in the bracket. You can provide all the time zones. It also accept uh, ISO country coding. For example, IN for India, US for United States. CA for Canada, FR for France, and so on, right? So you can find out the documentation of this PyTZ module. I have also linked the documentation of PyTZ in the description. Now, in order to update the clock, we'll be creating a function called update clock. I would like to quickly discuss the functionality of this update underscore clock it will just it will fetch the current date and time convert it into the particular time zone or it will fetch the time in that particular time zone uh, set the time in the particular format and date also in the particular format and it will just update the variable which is label in this case to that particular date and time it will refresh the time every thousand millisecond which is equivalent to one second. I'll quickly demonstrate the code. I will quickly run the code so that you can understand what exactly it is going to do. If you see the clock, you can see the current 
time or current date is 9th July 2021 which is today and the current time is 23.32 and the time seconds is getting updated right I know this is 24 hour format but in case if you want uh, AM PM to be there in the 24 20, 12 hour format you can use that but I have just added this extra component however it's not required but even though I have added this one right after building this functionality you will able to have this real time clock okay which get updated every second all right so let's uh, understand it quickly update underscore clock is the function function name which doesn't take anything and i'm creating variable raw underscore ts which will be a timestamp raw timestamp which is uh, this date time time module is collecting from the system and dot now so this will take the current date and time timestamp and it will take the time as per the time zone provided in the code above right i'm using variable called date underscore now here right so this date underscore now will basically hold a variable and it is a kind of transformed variable using string formatting strf time basically converts the timestamp into the desired output or desired format right so raw ts which is holding the current timestamp will be converted to the particular way that we want to represent here in this case it will be 9th june and 2021 d for date b for month text format three character and y is like y y y y format you can refer the documentation of string formatting to understand various time format that it supports okay similarly i'm creating another variable which is time underscore now which will extract time only the time from the date and time module and it will convert this using strf time function into this format which is hour minute second and this am for am and pm right so this is our intention we wanted to display the date in this format and time in this format right so this is why we have converted using strf time right now once we have all these formatted string we will push this using label underscore date underscore now so this we have created while we were creating the user interface right date label and the time label right now we will configure this and we will update this text update the text of label using date now and time now text label which was present there will be updated with this information at the same time i wanted to keep it updated every second so for that there is a function called after in this case i do not want to change the date label because it is somehow going to be fixed for the 24 hours so every time that particular time should be updated in case if you want to update the date yes it is also possible there's no big deal on that but at this time i wanted to update the time only if you want to update the date just copy paste the same code and instead of label underscore time underscore now you can use label underscore date underscore now and the date will also update every second which is of no sense because it is going to update or date is going to change after only 24 hours so for this demonstration i'm only trying to update the time so label underscore time underscore now dot after which will execute every thousand milliseconds so here it is a millisecond that means every second this function will be called right so this function will be called every second and time will be updated every second in order to make this function live and running until the gui exists we have to call this function inside app dot main loop so before this line we have to include this function so that it it is also alive and functional until the gui exists right i hope you understand so that's it this is how this is the way you can update the clock in real time and at the same time you can use this code to paste it anywhere in your uh, different application so that the concept remains same you can change a little bit in case of variable or timestamp that in case of variable or the time zone whatever you want to customize but more or less 90 percent of the code is going to be the same right okay so that's it that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new in this video please help us by sharing this video in your network we read each comment and reply them in case if you have any doubt related to this video then do write them in the comment section we will reply see you next time with another exciting and informative content i'll be preparing the next video for you till then keep learning and keep growing